If you find clowns terrifying, the upcoming show at A.J. Dillon Gallery may not be for you. Art of the so-called evil clown of Middletown. Some interpretations scary, others scarier. They look at Calico the Clown and it's been there for all these years. And I think people look at an at, at at image like that. Collectively, they begin to build the story. The show is the brainchild of Frank Leahy and Louise Tellis, who say Calico is a crowning achievement. It's an icon for Middletown, for Monmouth County. You can choose to go to an art show, but drivers can't avoid Calico on Route 35, guiding people by saying, turn or meet me at the clown. Some with a healthy fear? That thing has been terrifying me for 20 plus years. The sinister grin originally a 1956 supermarket sales pitch. Later, the blood red finger pointed out Circus Liquors, then Spirits Unlimited. If it wasn't for New 12 New Jersey, I would never have taken such an interest in the clown. Margie Rafferty says an interview by us started her clown love affair. She launched an online petition and Facebook page to save the evil clown of Middletown. It's the most loved, hated, and feared <laughs> creature on the planet. Um, you'll find a myriad of people in this town that will either love it and want to preserve it, or love it and, and hate it and still want to preserve it, or just hate it and want to get rid of it. The clown could come down due to development. It's not clear if or when. For now, the 60-year-old clown will live through an artistic retrospective. No joke. People have given it value by just talking about it and having a story about it, you know, so... I, I know I know it's going to continue someplace, even if not at 35. In Atlantic Highlands, Runji Sinha, News 12, New Jersey.